12 solar powered things you won't believe. Before we dive right into this video, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. Scar had this to say. Nice upload. Thanks for commenting, Scar, and thank you all for watching. Now, back to our video. Number 12, a solar-powered backpack strap. Dubbed the Sun Strap, this device was created by a company based in Minnesota called Skagit Quota. The two minds behind this are the brotherly duo of 34-year-old Inar and 26-year-old August Augustson that raised almost $20,000 on the website Kickstarter for their campaign. This bag strap is able to fit on almost any type of bag, not only that, but it's also waterproof and quite flexible. The strap is able to take the sun's rays and convert them into energy that charges an internal battery. That battery can then be used to charge whatever device is connected to the strap via a USB cord. The sun strap will be sold at a retail value of $99. Number 11, a solar powered table. This table called the current table is able to use indirect sunlight and convert the energy into a power source for you to charge your smartphone. No more having to get up and leave the table to plug your phone into an outlet. The table surface is interfaced with dye-sensitized solar cells that are able to capture the energy from indirect sunlight, unlike traditional solar cells. The table was created by a London-based designer named Marjan Van Abel, who designed the table with functionality in mind and was a finalist for the 2015 Designer of the Year. The current table is said to be going into production this year and will be sold for around 2,000 to 3,000 pounds or 3,000 to 4,000 US dollars. Number 10, a solar powered brewer machine. A device created by a group of researchers at Ghent University is able to transform urine into drinkable alcohol through the means of solar energy. You're probably making a gross face right now. Let's explain. See, the bodily fluid is collected inside of a special tank, which is then heated by using a boiler that is powered by solar energy. It then gets passed through a special membrane that helps separate the water and nutrients. The nutrients, such as nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, can then be used to create fertilizers, while the water can be used in the brewing process. Number nine, expandable solar-powered paper. No, not the kind of paper that you write on or put in your printer. This device is known as solar paper and was created by Chicago engineers. The super thin panel is incredibly lightweight and is supposed to be a solution to carrying around other portable charging devices that are known for being heavy and chunkier in design. The panel is able to charge an iPhone 6 in exactly two and a half hours during sunny skies and takes an extra 30 minutes when the sky is cloudy. What's interesting here and worth noting is that you can combine the panels just like in the following image and you can increase the charging power. These Kickstarter funded gizmos will end up costing you $79 each. Number eight, a solar powered bonsai tree. This unique looking contraption was created by French designer Vivian Muller, which he decided to call the Electri Plus after he noticed that the leaves on trees acted as natural solar panels. The bonsai shaped gizmo is able to charge up to two iPads and is capable of charging a phone in only four hours. The 27 panels or leaves are able to be arranged in whatever way the owner sees fit and the solar powered battery is located at the base of the tree. Sure, this might help you save money in the long run, but it might set you back a little as it costs 283 pounds or 350 US dollars. Number seven, a solar powered garbage compactor. Appropriately named the Big Belly Solar Bin, this garbage compactor was first introduced back in 2013 and underwent trials in the city of Merton in Southwest London. Since then, the compactors have sprouted up in other cities such as Chicago, Boston, New York, and Amsterdam, even popping up on the campus of the University of Berkeley back in 2015. The Big Belly Solar Bin is able to collect the sun's energy and use it to crush the garbage inside to an eighth of its original size. When it's 85% full, it sends out a text message notifying that it needs to be emptied. Number six, solar powered headphones. These sleek headphones are known as the OnBeat headphones and were designed by Scottish audio engineer Andrew Anderson. The headphones are able to harness solar energy by the panels that are located on top of the headband and store them inside of the two rechargeable lithium ion batteries that are found in each ear cup. The energy is saved for later and you can charge your smartphone by plugging in a USB cord into the port located opposite of the headphone jack wire. The price for one of these headphones is said to be around 119 pounds or 147 US dollars. Number five, raw lemon. This new type of solar panel is called the raw lemon and it's supposed to be better than the regular rectangular panels that we're accustomed to seeing. Unlike the rectangular panels, this sphere of a panel is able to follow the sun's movements throughout the day and better harness its energy. 
The funds for this Indiegogo project were completed back on March 10th, 2014, with well over the amount that was requested. Number four, a solar powered phone. This solar powered phone was created by the Japanese firm called Kyocera, along with the partner Sun Partner, which is a French firm. The two companies debuted their collaboration effort at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain earlier this year in February. Sun Partner is responsible for creating the built in solar panel that is found on the phone, and it's called WYSIPS or what you see is photovoltaic surface. The five inch phone requires three minutes in direct sunlight in order to have just one minute of call time, which is impressive considering Kyocera once needed eight minutes. It's still only in the concept phase and the phone could be scrapped altogether. Number three, a solar powered laptop. The sole laptop was created by the Canadian firm WeWi Telecommunications, and the company currently specializes in creating hardware and software for military and law enforcement. The laptop comes fixed with solar panels that are located underneath its lid and can provide a fully charged battery within two hours. Once the battery has gone through a complete charge, it's said that the laptop's battery life should last you around 10 hours. The purpose for this laptop's creation is to be used in certain areas of the world where electricity is limited and to help improve the acceleration of education. It's believed these can help cut a large amount of CO2 emission by not connecting to a power grid. Number two, a solar powered t-shirt. This is where fashion meets technology. The solar shirt was a collaboration between fashion designer Pauline Van Dongen and the Holst Center, a research center for technology and development. The shirt is able to create about a watt of electricity, which is just enough power to charge a standard smartphone. This is thanks to special solar panels that are sewn into the shirt's fabric. The shirt also comes equipped with a sewn in battery that is able to store energy for when you want to charge your phone at a later time. What's fascinating is that the shirt is able to be placed inside of a washing machine like any other garment, and it will not become damaged. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these solar powered gadgets you'd like to own, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, solar powered clothing. Yes, we did discuss a type of solar powered clothing in the last section we just did. However, this type of clothing doesn't use solar panels like the last. Last month in October, scientists at the Jinnan University in China were able to create a special type of fiber that can be woven into clothes and harness the sun's energy. One of the new fibers is made out of a wire coated in copper and is then interlaced with another fiber made with a titanium coated polymer an electrolyte, zinc oxide, and a dye. The other is made of a thin carbon shell, titanium, titanium oxide, and an electrolyte. The two fibers are then woven together with cotton yarn. 